Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm doing a bunch of first impressions. I have a stack of things I've never tried before. So we're going to start off with this new foundation from Mariposa. So this is from the Dollar Tree. This cost me $1.25 each. We have the Mariposa Liquid Skin in 02 and 01. So we're going to try these out. And for concealer, I want to try the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer. For primer, I thought we'd try the Nor No Problem Prime Essence Primer. For powder, I want to try this Clean uh, CoverGirl Clean Professionals Loose Powder in Translucent Fair, which I got from Dollar Store. And for um, the face, so bronzer, blush, highlight, all that. I'm going to use a combination of the Revolution and Soph collection and my Cover FX palette here. I'm going to try those. And then for eyes, I thought we would use the Revolution um, collaboration with Sophie as well for eyes. So most of this is going to be sped up. And then when I have little tidbits of information to give you guys, I will unspeed that up. Does that make sense? <laughs> just feels like a serum. It has a real light scent to it. Nothing too strong. My skin looks nice. All right, let's start on the foundation. So it's a little light, like really light heat. I look super washed out. <laughs> I look like the dead. So the doesn't really have a smell. No, I'm wrong. That has a smell. O2 I think is light, um, but O1 is like a mixer light. It's like white. And I think it's a little bit too light for me. But we will try and fix that with a uh, bronzer, obviously. So I'm going to try the camo concealer. I don't know if this is even going to make a difference on my face right now, or if I need to. So that was definitely... has more coverage, but there's not really... <laughs> couldn't get any lighter. I don't think. We're gonna try the powder now. Okay, so like most CoverGirl products, it has a smell and I don't know. My face is matte, so it did its job, but it's a mess. Like, my sweatpants are covered in powder. Okay, so <sighs> next on the list is going to be some bronzer and contour. So, this Cover FX palette's definitely too dark to use for that. I'm just going to use the brightening shade in this one as a highlight, I think. But the Soph palette is perfect. Okay, so 
so in real life that looks nice <laughs> it looks harsh on camera as always now I'm going to use this blush as well and I think I'm just gonna use the same darn brush why well, get fancy okay I really like this it is a bit um, dusty though it like picks up a lot of stuff so let's go into here and play with I think we'll mix this one with a little bit of that okay those are stuff <gasps> these are absolutely stunning like they look wet on the skin they're gorgeous so let's get started i'm going to quickly do my brows and i will be right back okay so brows are on looking a little bit bold to say the least looking a little bit bold so let's get on to this pretty palette right here and we're gonna put this nice white shade all over our lid Okay, and then I want to take this shade here and put it in the crease. To deepen, I think I would like to take a mixture of this shade here and that shade. I'm going for that with a smaller brush. These are quite blendable shadows, but they're not like super pigment right off the get-go. So that's nice, I think. I wish there was a mirror in the palette. It's a little patchy, but fixable. I'm gonna take a little bit of this dark shade and deepen up the outer corner. I want to play with this color. Look at how pretty. Taking a flat brush and hopefully this will give me the pigment I want. Ooh. All right, let's, let's try. Not quite. I'm gonna pull out a spray. Try this. That's better.
I don't have a new eyeliner tryout, so I'm just going to throw on some liner and I'll be right back. Eyeliner or mascara, I'm gonna put them both on. Okay, so eyeliner and mascara on. Now we're gonna try some lip. Lippy. A lippy, again from Soph uh, and Revolution Collaboration. This one is cake. So all of her glosses were super nude and I really liked this one. So it's a really pretty color. Very neutral. Very much like my lips. So I'm going to add a little bit of this Lime Crime Wet Cherry Gloss in Naked Cherry. And just see if we can give our lips a little bit of dimension. This thing is a hot mess. Ooh, it smells good. I feel like that did nothing other than make my lips look like this. But I mean, didn't change the color at all? I don't think. Ooh, I do have a brow product I can... This is a Stronghold Brow Gel from Lime Crime. Lime Crime. In Baby Brows. The It's quite long and thin, so let's give it a try. Not that my brows need anything else. They're pretty bold all on their own. I guess that gave them a little something. I don't know. You tell me. Yeah. What do you think? I'm going to use some Wet n Wild setting spray because it's in my project pan and I need to use it. I don't know. I don't think it looks half bad. But, okay, so let's kind of recap. Um... This is a nice palette, uh, but it's nothing super pigmented or amazing. I loved these N2 shades in this palette. The highlighters are stunning in this. This primer felt really nice well, on the skin. The CoverGirl powder is messy, but I don't look cakey at all. That brow thing I just threw in my brows is actually quite nice, so I'm gonna pull that out. These two things are so light. So I think these are like winter shades, but other than that, they actually look pretty nice on the skin. And the lip products are nice. They're, you know, juicy. Concealer, 10 out of 10, I really like that. Blended beautifully, it's not creasing under my eyes. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I still have so much stuff I need to try. So there will be more of these. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> so it's a really... <laughs>